Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft has given Windows 10 home users, as I have been posting, the option to extend support after October 14 next year, 2025. For 12 months, that will cost you $30. And that video will be linked down below in the end screen. And although Microsoft has given Windows 10 that option, they obviously want Windows 10 users to move on to Windows 11. So because of this, the closer we get to that cutoff date in October next year, 2025, for end of life of Windows 10, um, it, I think it goes without saying that Microsoft wouldn't want Windows 10 users on Windows 10. So the closer we get, I think Microsoft is going to increasingly discourage Windows 10 usage. And as I posted the other day in regards to this, um, a couple of days ago I received this new update banner, um, basically advertising to get ready for Windows 11, which actually contradicted a previous banner I received three years ago because this device cannot upgrade to Windows 11. It doesn't meet the hardware requirements. And that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. So this is one way, obviously, Microsoft is starting to discourage you from using Windows 10. And I think the closer we get to that cutoff date, these banners are going to start appearing um, more and more in the Windows 10 OS in the different products and services, as an example. And another example of this is if we head over to the Microsoft support website, where they are talking about create in installation media for Windows using the media creation tool. Under the Windows 10 section, they've even popped a banner here and a notification saying support, will, support for Windows 10 will end in October 2025. After October 14 next year, Microsoft will no longer provide free software updates from Windows Update, technical assistance or security fixes for Windows 10. And they also mention your PC will still work, but we recommend moving to Windows 11. And if you click on the Learn More link, it'll take you over to the end of support page for the different um, versions of Windows. And under Windows 10, the only option, according to Microsoft, the two options you have, um, if you're currently on Windows 10, is if your PC meets the minimum requirements to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11, you should see an option in the Windows Update to upgrade to, obviously, Windows 11. And if your PC is not able to upgrade to Windows 11, or if you want to replace it, you can move on. You can move to Windows 11 by purchasing a new PC. So that's Microsoft's answer. So for most people, including myself, this PC does not meet the hardware requirements to be able to upgrade to Windows 11. So I think just saying on this page, on the Learn More section, um, you can move to Windows 11 by purchasing a new PC is a little bit cheeky. Because obviously that's going to be an expense, especially in organizations and enterprises. And I think this is going to encourage the usage of other operating systems like Linux and Mac OS and Chrome OS a lot more in regards to, obviously, a lot of users' PCs, including myself, are perfectly fine. I mean, Windows 10 works perfectly on this PC. I don't need Windows 11 on this PC. Um, it gets everything done I need to for personal use and the channel. So I think a lot of users will find themselves in that boat, the same boat where um, they're not going to just want to go out and purchase a Windows 11 PC and they will move on to other OSs, maybe um, install Chrome OS Flex or Linux on the their current Windows 10 um, device, just to mention a couple of examples. And something else about this banner we are seeing here is they don't actually make any reference to giving you the option to extend support for $30 for one extra year after October 14 next year. So they haven't even given you that option. It's not even stated in this notification and this banner. So um, I also think that's maybe a little bit cheeky for want of a better word. But nonetheless, um, this was interesting. And I think, yeah, the closer we get to October next year, we are going to see um, a lot more Microsoft banners discouraging you to use Windows 10 and move on to Windows 11. And I'm sure this is going to cause a bit of debate. Um, 
Windows 10 is a very popular OS for a lot of users. I have seen that in the comments. And even for myself, I think personally, for personal use, I use Windows 10 more than Windows 11. I only really use Windows 11 for this channel, for, for um, making videos and so on. But um, just putting it out there, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm always interested to see your constructive comments down below. What do you think? Do you think it's going to get more difficult to use Windows 10? Do you think Microsoft is going to be placing banners more and more all over the place? Let me know what you think. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.